break out of your bonds or someone unties you or something, this lever here, once this comes off, boom. Calling his card? Mark? He liked to leave his mark, painted on walls in the blood of American GIs. Oh, God. To spread his infamy. What sort of man was this? What kind of symbol is that? The Beast. There we go. Sorry, the sound wasn't coming and I had to fix it real quick. They called it the Tiger. Ha! Huh, funny name for something with wheels. Did they give their tanks cute names too? Bessie or something? No, Germans tend to give their machines masculine names. Mm -hmm. Just to be clear, this is the same tank that Velvet has? Yeah, the same one. You know, I've been calling it a Tiger this whole time. Uh. It's actually a Tiger 2. The sequel! <laughs> Normally, the sequel is never better than the original. No. But in the case of the Tiger Tank, every Allied soldier from every country was terrified of coming up against German armor. The Tiger could take out any other tank in one well-placed shot from over a mile away. Yeah. Holy armor shit! armor was so thick and heavy that it could sustain multiple hits from other machines. So, sort of a sniper tank. Uh, not really, but I guess you could say that. Kinda. So, Koenig the Sniper had a long-range tank. The Germans had another name for the Tiger, too. What was it? The Koenig's Tiger. The Koenig's Tiger? I jumped out of the plane. There was flak exploding everywhere. Every few seconds, one of our planes was blown out of the sky, along with all the poor souls inside. When I pulled the chute, I assessed the battlefield beneath me. Allied transport boats were swarming at the beach, and our men were charging up to the bunkers. Oh, yeah. But the Germans had MG-34s and 42s set up. A lot of them... A lot of them didn't even make it outside of the boat. You saw that movie? Saving Private Ryan? Oh, jeez. Yeah, it was really intense. That's as close as you'll ever see to the real thing. Yeah. I watched these GIs charge up this beach while being shot and killed with machine guns. And a lot of these people were no older than 19 or 20. <gasps> they were just... A contemplation. They were just kids. So on one side of the battlefield, there was the beach. In the middle was the bunkers where the Germans were firing towards the beach. And then there was a big field behind the bunkers. My job as a paratrooper was to land in this field and move towards the bunkers, disabling the machine gun nests so that more of our GIs could make it to shore. So you landed in the field behind the bunkers? <laughs> Not exactly. Oh my fucking god! Our intelligence was old. It was supposed to be an empty field, but the Germans had built a forward operating base. Uh oh. Why did you land next to a German base? I didn't have a choice, Monty. The wind yeah. takes you where it takes you. Anyway, yeah. as I landed, I could see a huge tank. I had never seen one that big before. It looked mean. So I did my best to turn away, to drift towards the closest bunker, towards the beach. But the ocean wind pushed me further away towards the base and the tank. Oh, shit. Before I land it. Uh oh. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Ow. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, 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 no. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Oh, there's a motorcycle. My net's full. Halt! <laughs> BMW on oh, Nice. Thanks for the bike, Fritz. <laughs> Woo! <Boy -ya! laughs> what? I guess this is it. Be brave, Sal. Don't let them see that you're afraid. Uh-oh. I got a bad feeling that it's the, uh... Oh. 
like the change of music. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. You! Yes, you! I, I am now addressing the pitiful man under the rubble! Now <laughs> check it out! Shit! Who the hell's yes. this guy? <laughs> I am addressing you, brave corporal! Get out of my fucking face, fucking crops! Okay... Wie heißen sie? Okay, who is this guy? Salvatore. This guy's... Get me out of here and I'll show you exactly what this brave corporal can do. Ah, 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 ah! It is better for the both of us if you don't struggle, corporal. What? I would hate to have to mar that handsome visage I see before me. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sorry if I'm pausing for you, but... Is this Otto Koenig? Is this the guy? Sounds like a dick. Admittedly, I'm very impressed by your skills. <laughs> it's a wonder you're not German. <laughs> I'm more precisely a German soldier. <laughs> <sighs> Sal, I am not exactly sure what to do with you yet. Is this really the best that the great United States of America can offer? <sighs> Look at yourself, Sal. <laughs> Lying there, completely helpless and at my mercy. It's pathetic. Let us play a small thought experiment. What? What would you do if I were the one under the rubble and you were the one with the rifle? Probably shoot you. I'd probably blow your fucking brains out, but yeah, let's play a game. <laughs> Would you really put a bullet right between these bright blue eyes of mine? Yeah. yeah. Or would you take the moral high ground and allow me to live? No, no, I, I'm pretty sure I'd kill the hell out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Alas, <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> All that matters is what I am going to do. To you. Uh-oh. <sighs> Sal? Corporal, do you know why I joined this war? I guess you're in France because the Fuhrer asked you to get him some croissants. <laughs> Charming. To the last. I can see that fear in your eyes. This is what drives me. This look that you are giving me now. That is hatred, in its purest form. Cute toy. This is my rifle. It's wood and steel, and my flesh and bone mesh to create a perfect weapon. This rifle is an extension of my own identity. I am bound to it as it is bound to me. Oh my god, shut we up already. Are one and the same. Our perfection is absolute. The bolt is my arm. The scope this guy is, is my eye. He's fucking crazy. Like, he's and crazy. The trigger beats with my own heart. God. <sighs> you are insane. Would you in the care for smoke? Head. What? Wow. What a fucking gentleman. Sure, I'll take it. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. This guy's totally unhinged. Yeah. Definitely. I always unhinged. find the most enjoyable time to have a smoke is at the precious rare moment when your prey finds itself helpless and understands that the end is near. Mm -hmm. Lucky sure. me. And the cigarette's dirtier than ours. Yeah, to be honest with you, I find them superior to all others. 
<laughs> well, wow. Sal, my Lieber, I've come to a decision. What the fuck did you call me? Lieber? I find you to be most amusing. I think that you can provide exactly what I'm looking for. Am I supposed to be honored? You know, back in my village, it was a beautiful place you have to see it sometime, hopefully in your lifetime. We have a saying. Has the owner's weg is ein vergeudetes Leben. In English, yep. this means... What does this mean? Hatred without purpose is a life wasted. Huh. What the fuck does that mean? Sal... I don't know. I am very curious to see how you will use your hatred. Well... Bye. I will leave you with that. What? I would help you out of this wobble, but you are my enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen, my brave corporal. And remember, hatred with purpose. <laughs> yeah, I think he knows what he's going to do with all that hatred. Put a fucking bullet in your head. I had a feeling that it was auto -kunic. That guy is so... I don't know. I need a minute. Been okay? talking a lot. Yes, you have. It's okay, Boyle. Take a minute. Then I'll tell you about... 1945. And that's when it all really went down. Uh-oh. Well, we probably won't find out what happens in 1945 until the next episode, but my god, I never realized just how fucking insane and literally over the edge crazy Otto Koenig was. Ugh. Guys, give, guy gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't know about you guys. But there you go, guys. That was The Man I Was, 1944. We finally get an introduction to Otto Koenig, and we get a little bit more as to what was going on during that time period in Sal's life. <sighs> Again, I'm really sorry that I haven't really been posting a whole lot on my channel, and I'm sorry that I haven't really been uh, posting videos about this series. I really do love this series. Again, links to the video and Axel Gear's channel will be down in the description. Please go make sure that you go show him and the team who was helping him with this and everything else that he does, uh, some love. And if you guys would like more stuff from my channel, please consider subscribing. It's totally free. It helps me out. It helps the channel out. And let me know in the comments below what other videos you want to see from me. If you guys like this video, make sure to also give it a thumbs up. And also make sure to hit that notification bell to receive updates for whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. Have a good rest of your day, and until next time, stay tuned. Bye!